Hey everybody, welcome to the Arrow Show. Uh, I'm doing a quick uh, review video. What I have here is a classic arms nemesis Gen 2 Mark 18. Um, it is really solid. I didn't get to, I, I, I had an opportunity to unbox it, but I didn't have all of my audio and everything set up properly. So which is why I'm not doing an unboxing video. I'm just doing a little quick review. Um, but the gun, it comes with uh, it comes with one magazine. I got it from Airsoft GI, which was offering two additional high cap magazines as a special. Um, but this gun is really solidly built. I'm sure you guys have seen some of the previous like unboxings and reviews, um, but they have made some corrections uh, since then. Uh, they removed the uh, 556 designation on there and replaced it with USA, as well as changed the uh, direction of the u.s flag so it's facing the appropriate direction but uh this gun is is really nice uh the uh, daniel defense uh, uh rail is really uh smoothly made the only thing that they uh in terms of um in terms of if you're trying to go for that uh that block two setup the uh the barrel on here isn't profiled it's a 10.5 inch versus a 10.3 i believe or no this might be an 11 inch barrel. I know the 10.3 is almost flush with the end of the rail system. That way you can literally like when if you if you were to put a, a you know suppressor on here, it literally look like this. But if I put this on here and screw it on, obviously you still see some of the barrel extending. Now this item doesn't come with it. This is actually a classic army uh, suppressor. Obviously it doesn't really suppress the noise too much, but it uh, screws on to this uh, classic army uh, flash hider, which actually does not come with this gun. It actually comes with a traditional birdcage flash hider that I had to twist off and replace with this. And if you're looking at it carefully, obviously it looks like it's chewed up. That's because when I was unboxing this, it wasn't in a package or anything like that. So when I was unboxing, it actually flew out and my dog got <laughs> got, uh, like, or got to it before I did pretty much. And, Shoot it up pretty good, but um, I mean, fortunately, it's still functional. I'm probably just gonna buy a replacement one, um, just because it it it's look it looks really tacky, and I'm not really happy about that. Unfortunately, um, does have uh, the traditional you know uh, charging handle where you can pull that back. It does not lock by itself though, so you do have to pull it back and then press the uh, bottom part of the bolt catch in order to lock it to the rear. That way you can go ahead and make your modifications in the hop up right here. But once you do have it locked back, you do have the bolt uh, catch does function properly. So you can lock it and it is a really nice, you know, really clean noise. Well, if I do that again for you guys, really clean. So the gun does come with the uh, flip up sights. And then obviously it does flip from different apertures as you can see here. But if you have it flipped on the bottom aperture, then your flip up sight when you try to push it de or down will not flip or push all the way. So make sure you have it on that one aperture. Um, I do have a battery in here already. Um, and I did already program this to semi-auto. It was kind of tricky. Um, there are a lot of uh, review videos that show how to do that but it doesn't really give you, they don't really put in the description the designation of like what beeps mean, you know, semi only, uh, what beeps mean full auto, what beeps mean, you know, three or five round bursts. But um, I have a 11.1 uh, LiPo from Tenergy inside this gun. And this is the, uh, this is the, the trigger re uh, response. Pretty fast. So you can, you know, feel like you're semi -GM GMRing it, I guess you can say. And then I have it on auto, but like I said, I have it programmed. It's not going to shoot any further than that. So obviously, I'm not going to go through the whole trigger setup, but if you put it in semi and you uh, press the trigger once and then hold it, obviously while it's uh, unloaded, you'll hear a series of beeps. And then you hit the beep once, and it'll go dee 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 dee, and it'll keep going until you want the right setting. And then once you have it on the right setting, you switch it to full auto, and then you switch it back, and then you should be good to go. But uh, other than that, no, this gun is really, uh, this gun is really amazing. Um, it's 
And so I, I, the only thing I don't like is that the bolt, um, or the, uh, it doesn't like lock to the rear. That's like I said, that's the only thing I don't like about this gun. But, um, other than that, it's really, really well built. Uh, it's really great quality. Um, I can't really, I can't wait to, uh, suit it up. Uh, you know, put like a red dot, get a AFG, uh, switch this to a CTR stock. I'm, I'm really excited to do all that and get back in here. So, um, yeah, I mean, that's the, uh, that's the classic army nemesis gen 2 mark 18 um like i said i got this from airsoft gi um i i i wasn't really happy with the the quality of the uh, service though because even though i got my product quickly um i ordered a uh emerson uh, coyote brown um mag pouch and i ended up getting a multicam one which i'm pretty sure is more expensive but still it doesn't match with the vest i decided to choose but either way airsoft gi Get it? They've been well known for stuff. I do miss Bob the Hilde, uh, Bob the Axeman Hildebrand, and Tim uh, Sargent. I miss those guys so much. But all the new staff that are doing the reviews and videos are doing a great job. So make sure you guys hit them up for some stuff. Airsoft GI, um, Airsoft Atlanta, Air Rattle, which is based in Ohio, which is where I usually get my stuff from. Um, Evic, uh, all those uh, Airsoft Megastore, even um, all of those retailers have really good products. So make sure you guys go ahead and buy some stuff and go out and play. All right. Thank you for tuning in. If you like this video, make sure you guys comment, like, and subscribe. This is the Classic Army Nemesis Mark 18 Gen 2. Go and buy one. Thank you.